welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today, we're gonna do a test drive, do a walk around inspection, and show you lights working on this beautiful 1965 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. And this car comes to us, it's had an extensive restoration. It is an older restoration, but it still presents very, very well. Uh, powered by the 327 cubic inch V8, uh, backed by the four speed manual transmission. Uh, just beautiful, striking car. It's got the knockoff wheels, that beautiful dark green metallic paint. This car has got curb appeal. It is a gorgeous example. So, we're going to go ahead and grab the other camera and go for a test drive. Oh. Paying attention. Oh my god, then. Oh, shoot. Have a little leg. There we go. <laughs> so now we're going to take a test drive in that beautiful 1965 Chevy Corvette convertible. Yep. Fired up. That 327 just lights off. Just bump key. So tight. Carburetor's adjusted well. I mean, even ice cold, the car fires right off. It's going tire a little bit. Yeah. Clutch feels nice and strong. Transmission's nice and tight. Shifters, I mean, there's like no play in the shifter. Super tight. Uh, yeah, you can feel that from the passenger seat, just how smooth and tight this car is. The suspension feels nice and solid. It does sit you back in the seat, even with very little throttle. Yeah, it's it's a strong running car. So it's powered by this uh, 1967 327. So the, mo the motor's been replaced at some point, um, but it does have the original numbers matching transmission. Yeah. It's just a very factory correct car. Other than I mean. Disc brakes and they're so light, they're so easy to start or stop.
great rented car. It is. I mean, if you're looking for one that's nice, turnkey, ready to enjoy, I mean, take your local cruise in our car show. I mean, this car is going to stay tall on its own. You're having a blast driving to and from the show. It's definitely just an just excellent example of the second generation of the Corvette. So, talking about the condition of the car just a little bit, you know, let me talk about every inch of the suspension. I mean, it's extremely tight. It handles very well for a C2. All your bushings, and, you know, everything's been replaced. On the interior, everything works. All your lights work. The power antenna works. Wipers work. The clock even works. Uh, the only gauge that does not seem to operate is the temperature gauge. It moves just very slight, but um, so it's in inaccurate. I don't know if it's the, just the sending unit. It does have an aftermarket radio, but the dash has not been cut, and the stereo is made for a Corvette, so it still utilizes the factory knobs, which is cool. Yeah. The power antenna works like it should, goes up and down. Market for uh, just a classic two-seater roadster, or even just a second-generation Corvette. You want one that you can show. You want one that is just going to drive like a C2 Corvette should. I mean, you're definitely going to want to get a very close look at this car, top to bottom. But it's just an excellent example of these C2s. It is. And when we do the walk-around inspection, you know, we're going to show out a couple flaws on the car. But don't let that scare you. This is. Yeah, okay. Beautiful car. And they're extremely minor plots. I'm yeah. going to get really close to show. Yeah, beautiful car. So, yeah, stay tuned for the walk around. And uh, you won't want to miss it. It's a beautiful car. So now we're done with the test drive. We're going to do a walk around inspection on this beautiful 1965 Chevy Corvette convertible. That that gorgeous dark green metallic exterior the paint shines very well see it was a very quality paint job when it was first done still shines extremely well um, i will show just a few of the minor flaws that this car does have starting with the driver's side of the windshield it does have a little bit of delaminating in the tint but the windshield surround is in very good condition on the grill by the windshield wiper there's some chips in the paint that have been touched up not very noticeable but they are there there's a couple little minor dimples in the paint there coming on the driver's side for the fender the fiberglass is in excellent condition your chevy emblems excellent condition there's a little bit of age and wear on the stainless rocker molding let me come up to the top of the driver's fender and there is just a couple minor cracks in the paint something probably got kicked up off the road it's got the the awesome knockoff wheels with these gold line tires this really set this car apart. There is, uh, not really sure what to call it, but I don't feel, must that there's kind of a line, like a telegraphing line. It's very faint underneath the fiberglass, but it is there, not very noticeable. Coming across the driver's side of the hood is in excellent condition. Coming down to the front of the car, your front bumpers are in very good condition, showing just very slight age. A couple light scratches. Your paint across the front is in very good condition. Back on the grill, you can see there is some minor ch stone chipping in the black portions, which would be very easily fixed. There is a slight scratch in the paint there your front emblem is in excellent condition the rest of the bumper 
very good condition like the driver's side showing very very light age there are a couple little imperfections in the clear coat it looks like very very minor coming across the passenger side passenger side fender is in very good condition and these the ribs up underneath the the car are in very good condition on the fenders. The tires are older. It's still in good condition. If you're doing some highway mile, highway driving, you might want to replace them though. Come across the passenger side of the hood. Beautiful. Dark green with dark green. Great reflection. Yeah. And then you have a couple little chips in the paint again on the passenger side. wonder if the wipers were not adjusted quite right. A little scuff in the windshield molding. There's one little tiny ding in the front of the molding. It's pretty minor. But your the rest of your windshield is in excellent condition. Coming down, your rocker molding on the passenger side does show a little bit of age and a little bit of wear. On the passenger side door, there's a couple of real minor chips and one little scratch there. Your door handles in very good condition. Your passenger side glass is in excellent condition. There is some very light age. It's not really pitting, but it's just some age on that. Trim. Your convertible top is in very good condition. No holes, no tears. There's some wrinkling from the top being up and down, but your back uh, plastic windows clear in very good condition. Coming into the interior, also again is in very good condition. Showing very minor wear. Oh, age on the little vent window crank so the door handle might be a little was a little loose there is this trim here is a little loose but other than that the vinyl is in excellent condition with great color the door jams are nice and solid your sill plates are in excellent condition not all chewed up from getting in and out of the car And the passenger side leather seat is in excellent condition. This is leather showing very little wear. Carpet's in very good condition. You might have some light fraying, but other than that, the color is excellent. And you do have a little bit of wear on the seat belts and around your shifter, but very minor. Maybe a little standing on the Corvette emblem. There is one little like crack in the dash pad. Oh, you have the like emergency grab handle. But other than that, the dash is in excellent condition. That matching green color. You see your factory clock is working. Your knobs are in very good condition. It does have the replacement AM FM radio. Seat backs are in very good condition, only showing some light wear. Rear carpet's in very good condition. So coming back outside, I wanted to show down here, the rear quarter and the door don't quite line up perfect, but I uh, just wanted to show that. There's one little touch up here. Coming across the quarter, you see the reflection. Tether's reflection is very crisp. Quarter's in excellent condition. Come around the back of the car. 
your deck lid. Very good condition. Oh, your chrome. Very good to excellent condition throughout. This lens does have just a couple real minor scratches, but like the flap, still have your correct gas cap. Now your rear Corvette Stingray emblem, that's about the only one that looks like it might be original to the car. It's got a little bit more paint loss than the rest of them, but your tail light chrome and reverse light chrome's in excellent condition. Same with the lenses. The rear bumper's in excellent condition, except there's a little bit of age right there on that bumper. And the, the rear roll pan is in very good condition. Some very light age that was there. The rest of your trunk area is in excellent condition. Your rear power antenna is in very good to excellent condition. The driver's side quarter is in very good condition. The driver's side half of the convertible top. There again, it's in very good condition. The driver's side door. Got a little bit of age again around the vent window chrome. And the driver's door. In very good condition. There is some a couple little very minor cracks in the paint right behind the door handle itself. And then we come into the interior. Now I just wanna, before Tyler gets on the interior, just on the front edge of the core, there's a little bit of rub by getting in and out of the car on the paint. But, but coming into the driver's side door panel, door panel's in very good condition, just with some slight age. There, there is one little crack in the armrest but we, um, there's a couple more right there but other than that just some slight age showing on the cranks showing the front door jams nice and solid sill plate is in very good condition you have a little bit of wear on the driver's side seat just in the leather but the bottom's in very good condition. Our seats have plenty of padding. They're actually in very good condition. Steering wheels in very good condition. Some minor wear and age present. Go ahead and get them. Gauge cluster is in nice and very good condition. Everything's nice and legible. Our antenna switch and driver's side of the dash is in excellent condition. So the interior windshield surround and visors, I didn't show that on the passenger side, but the rear deck lid is again in very good condition. Before we go into the hood, I'm going to show the top going down and the windows going down and so that everything operates like it should. And these tops on these this generation of on the C2s, they are very easy to manipulate. And one person can easily do it and do it quickly. You just raise the back up first, then you pick up the front. You can even let it sit there for a second as you release the deck lid. That you can see a good shot of the rear carpet it's in very good condition. 
Then you lower it all down as one unit. And close your deck. Okay. Go ahead and shut that door open out of the window. So the top operates very nice. It's got an excellent frame. Now we'll come underneath the hood, and you'll see this very nicely detailed 327. Now this is a 1967 327 according to the casting numbers. Um, so it's not a numbers matching car, but a very period correct 327. And they did a beautiful job with when the restoration has all the shielding on the spark plug wires, the air cleaner, hose clamps. They did a very nice job underneath this engine compartment. So we'll fire it up and then show you some lights working. That does come up a little quicker than the driver's side. There's your headlights. Brights. There's your driver's side turn signal. And it's in your side. So the headlights closing. driving, turnkey ready, car that you can be proud of, Corvette convertible, I mean, it's a great car, definitely check it out, Rock Solid Motorsports.